Welcome back. <clears throat> I thought it might be worthwhile as an addendum to the, the first video to go over some of the weapons platforms and the differences because uh, in them because that's going to drive sort of the, the tactical uh, approach and the strategy for each side and that will uh, help you help inform you when you see the pictures of the game or uh, or any further videos. So first here's a simple example a relatively simple example. Uh, let's take a look at, let's see if I can do this. The, uh, the as, I, as always, this camera stand tends to sag on itself. So if I look at the, uh, six, uh, the, the T-62 with the missile capability, the stabber round, right? It's got a penetration rate of 110, or if I use the APFSDS, it's got uh, 96 uh, penetration rate. <clears throat> if I go look at uh, the defensive capabilities of the, uh, why is that a challenger? We're looking at uh, the Chieftain Mark II. Uh, at the Chieftain Mark II, we can see that on defense, if I was being shot at by a KE, a kinetic energy weapon, right? I would use this table here, and it would be all of these these ratings here, right? Now, just by comparison with the Challenger 1, the Challenger 1's got this chemical uh, energy rating, and I, it's color-coded. So if I get hit turret front, for instance, with a Challenger, it, I would multiply this number by two, uh, and that would be the defensive capability, which would mean that the stabber at 110 would not penetrate. But if I was hitting turret rear, you know, we're SOL. Uh, so, but unfortunately, we don't have uh, a, a CE rating, right? So any shot, pretty much, any shot from a T-62 using the missile, the stabber, with a penetration of 110, on turret front, turret front, or any other, basically any other uh, uh, aspect of the the um, the platform here, other than uh, the front uh, side turret front, as a defense of one twenty. Everything else is is under one ten. So a hit here, front or rear, a hit here front, it's going to slice it up, and we're going to be rolling for damage. But if uh, I manage to get a front side or rear side hit 120 uh, means that uh, on a rising shot means that I'll be okay but otherwise I'm, I'm once again I'm rolling for damage so the things that matter in uh, MBT are the range you're shooting at because the penetration rate is going to go down over as the range increases except for of course these uh, these um, ATGM missiles and then it's the defensive capability of the unit. So if I if I can in uh, if if I can get good clean long range shots with the T62s, I can take out all of the British tanks. But if I'm forced to fire for whatever reason, maybe I run out of ammo. Um, if I'm forced to fire my APF SDS, well now I've got a, a, a penetration rating of 96 at point blank range, six hexes. 85 at short range, right? Up to 11 from 6 to 11 or 7 to 11. And so then if I look at the, def the defense here, what did I say it was? Uh, 85, right? Or 96 at point blank, but let's say it's probably short range is more likely. 85, well now 85, still uh, still pretty risky uh, for on a level shot, right? 85 is going to get a penetration, but a rising shot won't. And same over here, I'll be okay if it's a front side level shot uh, or a rising shot. So that now it becomes a, a positioning game depending on can, can the Soviet get me in position to uh, do some damage. Now let's, let's look at the, other, the, the flip side of this. The, the uh, Chieftains here, the Mark IIs, they've got uh, also have a... Uh, CE based weapon, a HESH, uh, and uh, APF SDS as well, kinetic. Pen penetration rate of 116, that's a banger, right? Uh, or 101 at uh, short range. And then, of course, this HESH stuff, uh, 
it's a little bit different here, but it's it's got a pen pressure under 74, so not as effective. Uh, so we're probably not going to use too much of that unless it's maybe against a, a dinky little uh, BTR or something like that. We pop those rounds off, right? So let's assume uh, short range, uh, pen pressure rate of 101. So let's have a look at what uh, the defense looks like for the, the, the um, whatchamacallit, the T62. Now, they have this uh, light... Uh, Explosive reactive armor, ERA armor. Sorry about the focus here. And it's color coded. So it, it's available on a TF and HF. So turret front, hull front, turret front on the side, turret side, and hull front. Uh, so, and then look, potentially, depending, you got to roll the die to see on the hull side here. <laughs> That's like a 50 50 chance, basically, to, to get the benefit. For LERA, for light ERA, we're going to look at, is it a level shot with 40, uh, 48, right? And we're going to, uh, we're going to say, okay, uh, if I roll a seven or less, because that's what's in the rules, seven or less, it's actually going to hit the uh, LERA blocks and we'll use that capability. And so I would go to my defensive strength, let's say it was a level, uh, 48. Uh, so I would go to the little table here and look at uh, 48, which is basically 50 uh, or, or 40 even, and at uh, an ERA rating of, would, would bump it up to 120 or 130. So that would mean that this penetration rate here, 101, won't, won't happen. But if I fail this LERA roll, then I'm, all, I'm going to be using this standard number here, 48, 55, and 43. And that means that that 101 is going to penetrate and we'll be rolling for damage, right? So I, I know that's kind of tedious and boring unless you actually see the dice rolled. But it's interesting that, you know, these uh, LERA bro bleh, blocks are... Uh, only in certain locations, and so they may be effective. Uh, and the rule actually says, if a hit on a non-protective location, the ERA is not a consideration. Uh, but uh, due to the fact that these, you know, these types are, are not covered 100%, so the player that is controlling the target vehicle rolls a D10. If the result is a seven or less, the ERA is effective. Otherwise, it has no effect. Reference the special armor table, which I can show you here. That's this little table here. And if it's effective, we, we multiply out uh, and we look at what the ER, ERAC rating is. Um, for KE type ammo, reference the ER, the ERAC column. The calculation is 1.6 to listed armor. For CE type ammo, we would use the, e, the ERAC with a C column. The calculation is 80 plus, is 80 plus the armor, the listed armor value. So we will have to do a little bit of math for each one of these uh, hits or, or types of hits. And, uh, depend, and it's all going to depend on the location. So it's a pretty interesting little uh, exercise there. And then you've got the different crew-sized, uh, crew-served weapons, uh, the Carl Gustavs with a penetration rate of 80. And that's a CE-based weapon. They're going to have a hard time unless they get a, an angled shot. Uh, same here with the Spandrel and the Saga. They've got big penetration rates, but we're going to have to get the right the right uh, angle of this this guy will go uh, like a knife through butter on on any of the uh, any of these weapons platforms other than the tanks even the tanks I think they're gonna yeah they're gonna give the tanks a run for their money so the striker also has a swing fire missile which has got a pen rate of 160 now that'll kill something uh, so that's pretty pretty nifty right it's a 170 millimeter CE plat platform damn we got to protect those guys. So here's where you start looking and going, okay, where am I going to put my strikers? Where's the where's the best place for them? It gives them the maximum uh, field of fire and provides them with the best defense. And what am I? How am I going to use my infantry? Where am I going to place my my little dinky chieftains? I want to make sure that they are chieftains and not um, yeah, they are chieftains. Uh, so I will be using chieftains. How am I going to use these uh, these older tanks, basically, uh, that you know don't have any uh, CE based uh, defense? Um, at least I don't think they do, right? Or maybe uh, it's KE or CE. 
Well, that's something I'll have to double check. I'll have to double check that because if they do get the CE rating on the whites, right, uh, on these white boxes here, then that would be very beneficial to them because that's going to give them a multiplier on these numbers. And that would be that would be goodness. I'll have to double check that. But uh, it, it's also going to make me choose where do I put these guys. It's going to make me choose how I use my uh, missile rated uh, uh, MVs. Obviously, you don't have a lot of ammo for these, so that you've got to make an ammo roll every time because uh, they may run out, right? Uh, so it's all uh, there's a lot of nuance in in the detail once you get down into it. All right, enough talking. Let's go set the finish setting this thing up, and we'll uh, get after it later.